All right, so it says solve for R. R is right here. It is attached to I and T. It's all multiplying. What's the opposite of multiplying? Dividing. So we are going to divide both sides by I, T. So now I get P divided by I, T. These cancel each other out. And it just equals R. That's all we have to do is rearrange it to get R by itself. Let's try the next one, number two. Um, your question was, can we flip the equation? What, like R equals P over IT? Yes. All right, number two says A equals two times L plus W. Right here, I want you to solve for L. Please do that now. So for this one, first thing you need to do is the distributive property. 2 times L, 2 times W. So I get A equals 2L plus 2W. I'm still trying to solve for L, so I need to move the 2W to the left. So I'm going to subtract 2W from each side. I get A minus 2W equals, the 2W cancels right there, 2L. To get L by itself, you have to divide everything by 2. <clears throat> so one of the ways you can write this, because these cancel, L equals A minus 2W all divided by 2, or... You could have it written. You could have divided it up and put L equals A divided by 2 minus, and then the 2's on the W uh, eliminate, and so it would just be 1W. Either way, you could have written this, and it would be correct. <clears throat> Number 3. Y equals 7X minus 2. I want you to solve for x. Please do that now. All right, when you're solving for x, the first thing we're going to do is addition and subtraction. I'm going to move the minus 2 over here to the left. So instead of minus 2, I'm going to add 2 to each side. I get y plus 2 equals 7x. Then you need to divide by 7 to get x by itself. So you're going to get x equals y plus 2 divided by 7. You also could have written it as x equals y divided by 7 plus 2 over 7, but no big deal. Either way is okay. Number 4. Number four, we're going to have 6x minus 5y equals 9. And I want you to solve for y. Please do that now. Now, we're solving for y. So I'm going to move this x over to the other side. So I, you should have subtracted 6x from each side. You get negative 5y equals negative 6x plus 9. I'm going to divide by negative 5. You can do this a couple different ways. I'm going to write it as y equals, well... Negative 6 divided by negative 5. Negative and negative is a positive. 6 over 5x minus 9 over 5. Let's try number 5. 
How many are there? 500 million. I want you to solve for Y. Solve for Y on this one. So on this one, I said any time we had something that was with the denominator, multiply to get rid of it. So it says divided by 3. You should have multiplied both sides by 3. By doing this, it cancels those out. You get x plus y equals 5 times 3, which is 15. Now to get y by itself, subtract your x. You get y equals 15 minus x. That's your answer. And you can write it as 15 minus x. You can, it doesn't matter which side the y is on. It means the same thing. All right, number six, y equals mx plus b. I want you to solve for m. Solve for m. Right here. To get m by itself, you need to subtract b from each side first y minus b equals mx. Now, to get m by itself, divide by x, you get y minus b divided by x. That equals m. All we're doing is rearranging. Next, number seven. Number seven, we have AX plus BY equals C. I want you to solve for X. Please do that now. All right, solving for X. First thing we need to do, there's the X. I see the BY, I need to send it to the other side. So I do the opposite of plus and I subtract BY from each side. I get AX equals C minus BY. Now to get X by itself, now you have to divide by A. So we have X equals C minus BY all divided by A. You mean if you, the question was if you put it on the other side like this, C minus BY over A equals X? No, yeah, something like that. You can write, they're the same, doesn't matter which side the X is on. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay. All right, one more. Here we go. Number eight. Number eight says. A equals one half H B plus C. We're going to solve for C. Solve for C. So I want you to think about it. The first thing you need to do is the distributive property. Start from there. So as you go to do the distributive property, you're going to take one half H times B, and you take one half H times C. So I'm going to get A equals one half H times B plus one half H times C. Not pretty, I know. We're trying to get a C by itself right here. So I need to move this one over to the right. So I need to subtract one half HB from each side. 
So I'm going to have a minus, whoops, this one's not so friendly, a minus one half HB equals one half HC. Well, now uh, you divide by one half H. One half H. So we have A minus one half HB all divided by one half H, and that equals C. Now, you cannot eliminate these one halves. I cross them out in this H because there's a minus sign right here. It makes it different. So we'll leave it like this for right now. 